watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. Happening right now, a judge in Spartanburg County is considering a proposed settlement in a lawsuit involving the families of some of the victims of serial killer Todd Kolhep. The family sued Academy Sports, saying the company was negligent in selling the guns to the man who later gave them to Kolhep. And joining us here on Midday to offer her expert insight with the Kolhep case is criminal defense attorney Lori Murray you might recognize as lawyer Lori. Now, I just want to jump right in. We just found out, Lori, part of this settlement and what Academy Sports wanted was for it to be sealed. The judge moments ago ruling not to seal this. Why do you think the judge would do that? Well, a couple of reasons. We have a rule in the state of South Carolina, Rule 38 of the South Carolina Rules of Civil Procedure, that basically says that we don't seal settlements anymore. They, they used to be sealed all the time. But it goes against the public policy of public knowledge and public access to what's going on and transparency in our courtrooms. So the judge probably weighed that rule against the uh, need for Academy Sports to have this thing sealed and just decided that the the public outcry for transparency in our court system outweighed their need for privacy. Mm. Well, now we do want to backtrack just a little bit. So for those who don't know about Todd Kolhep, what can you tell us about the serial killer? Well, Todd Kolhep was caught back in, I think it was 2015. Uh, a young girl and her boyfriend went missing. The search went on for months for them. And it turned out that she was being held on his property in a, a storage container. She was in chains. He had shot her boyfriend right in front of her and kept her as a as basically a sex slave for uh, months. Luckily, she was found. Whenever they did find her, they arrested him, and he proceeded to confess to uh, the killing of another couple and uh, the killing of a motor, uh, four people at a motor speedway store. And that was uh, probably back maybe three years prior to that. So all in all, he was uh, he confessed to killing seven people. Now he is currently serving a life sentence for that confession, but today's hearing is actually not about him. So tell me about the role right. Dustin Lawson played in these murders and how Academy Sports got involved in a legal battle. It's the most insane thing I've ever heard. So Dustin went with Colep, Colep, uh, to go and buy these guns from Academy Sports. So Colep had a prior conviction when he was a juvenile for kidnapping and sexual assault. So because he had that prior record for kidnapping, he was unable to purchase a firearm. So to purchase the firearm, he needed somebody to buy it. It was a straw purchase. And uh, Academy Sports was brought on into this lawsuit because Dustin was the one who went in and bought 29 firearms and then gave them to Todd Colep. But the Academy Sports was ruled to be negligent or, or sued for negligence for not noticing the amount of guns, the fact that they were paid for in cash, just uh, keeping up with the the time between the purchases of the guns, the fact that Todd Colehub was with him during one of these purchases. A lot of just red flags that should have been caught by the employees of Academy Sports mm. when they are selling firearms. And also, Dustin actually said that he had heard him talking about killing the four people at the Speedway store, that he'd heard him talk about killing somebody at in or having somebody kept in this storage facility on his property. And that does, he just didn't know when he was telling the truth. So he just continued to buy him guns, 29 guns. And then Academy Sports came into it because they didn't catch the fact that he was buying all of these guns. Mm. Well, last month we did learn that some of the victims' families had settled that lawsuit against Academy Sports. And we mentioned that the retail store really fought to keep that settlement sealed. It's not going to be. That's the ruling the judge just made. But how often do big-name clients and stores want these settlements sealed? Oh, I think they would want them sealed every single time because what it does, when, when you see somebody, a, a store like Academy Sports paying out this kind of money, it brings on more lawsuits. It, it makes you try. It makes people out there say, hey, well, maybe I can get a million dollars. So they want every one of them sealed. I, it's not done that often. I don't think that they get that wish very often. You'll see news article after news article of settlements and big settlements against these companies. And I think I read that in federal court, which is where most of these are brought, the settlements are they're sealed in less than 1% of the uh, civil cases. So I don't think it's done very often, but of course they're going to try every single time because if they don't, it gets out there paying all this money. 
everybody's going to try for their piece of the pie. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Lori. And we have a reporter in court right now, so stick with Fox Carolina as we get you the very latest information from this hearing. Remember, you can have news alerts sent to your phone with the Fox Carolina News app. Just scan that QR code on your screen or search Fox Carolina in the App Store and on Google Play.